phone calls. You better watch yourself, pal. Or, or what? Uh, you're gonna kill me? Is that your answer to everything? By the way, this phone call is going on record to show that you and Lulu are in cahoots that you're trying to get your story straight. Lulu's falling apart. She's in a lot of pain. Don't even talk to me about pain. You know, you're gonna spend the rest of your life in prison, so you will not know what it's like to have a, a child and have it killed violently. I didn't kill yourself. Yeah, you did. Okay. I got evidence. You and Lulu are gonna pay for what you did. Come after me all you want. You stay away from Lulu. They need to leave, Scott. You are way too close to this case to be anywhere near the accused. I'm sorry, I thought we had our appointment this afternoon. Yeah, I had a meeting with a patient, so I thought I'd stop by and see how you're doing. Uh, not well, I see. Sorry, I can't help it. Why don't we start with what upset you? <sighs> I called Johnny and I was relieved they actually let me talk to him. They did? Well, they didn't know who I was. I lied, but when I heard his voice, it was like a lifeline. Mm -hmm. And then we got cut off. Somebody hung up the phone, and I'm afraid they're going to do something to punish him. Well, I'm sure his lawyers are watching out for him. I just can't stand imagining him being locked up. I mean, he's not the type of guy who sits still. He's on the edge of whatever he does. You don't lock someone up like that and expect everything to just be okay. What would you do to help him? I don't know. I don't know. I just need to figure something out, have someone take me from Shady Brook over so I can talk to him. But we talked about how critical it is for you to spend your first week or so staying focused, Lulu. I know, but I felt so good when I talked to him on the phone. Imagine how I'll feel if I get to see him in person. I know. Lulu, I'm so sorry, but that's not possible. You can't sign yourself out, and I can't let you go. What the... There has to be a way. This isn't j jail. A family member can sign you out for short periods of time. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were having a session. We're not. We're not. I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> I guess you're doing better. Oh, I am now that you're here. I... This is my case to prosecute, and I can't let you jeopardize it by confusing all the issues. There's no confusion. This punk killed my son. End of story. It's a conflict of interest for you, and any effort that you make to get him convicted is going to end up in appeals court. Conflict of interest? Oh, come on, Alexis. Trevor Lansing is the grandfather of your child. Not to mention the fact that you have pretty much jumped into bed with every mobster in this town. Or you have worked for them. So, you see, I want to make sure that my son gets justice. You're a grieving father, and for that, you have all my sympathies. In fact, this office has given you a lot of leeway out of respect for your loss. But, Scott, the law is the law, and I can't have you twist things around for your own sense of revenge. What, what are you... Alexis, are you looking for some kind of a loophole so that you can let Johnny walk? No, Scott, I'm trying to do my job. Well, then do your job. Subpoena Lulu Spencer as a hostile witness. I'm not going to discuss my legal strategy in front of John here. If you have a suggestion, and I'm sure you do send a memo, I will give it my, my fullest consideration. Keep him out of here from now on. If Lulu's forced to testify, I could push her right over the edge. I have appointments at General Hospital for the rest of the day, but I will be back for a session later. 
and Lulu. Try not to be so hard on yourself. Things will get better, I promise. Okay? Thanks, Dr. Winters. Sure. You know, she's right, Lulu. You need to stop being so hard on yourself. Well, she doesn't understand. Not like you. You were in rehab, so you know what it feels like to be trapped. Yeah. Or feel like a failure. But so all you gotta do is just get through every day, and I promise things will start to change. Well, I know things will change, and, and I'll feel better if I get to see Johnny. Please, Lucky, will you please, please take me to see him? Johnny is the last person you need to see right now. Lucky, Johnny never did anything to hurt me. Everything bad that has happened has been my fault. You know what? You need to stop blaming yourself. I'm the one that brought the gun into the PCPD. The only reason that Johnny grabbed it and took me and ran was because he knew I was going to do something crazy. Even if that was the case, you cannot leave Shady Brook. I can now. if a family member takes me. Lainey said so. Look, Johnny was nothing but wonderful to me when we were hiding out. Everything he did was to make sure that I was safe. And, and when I started to lose it, all he cared about was making sure that I was okay. <sighs> Look, Johnny has given up his freedom so that I can get better. For the first time in my life, somebody loves me enough to put me first. I'm your brother. I'm putting you first now. You can't leave here. You're not strong enough. Okay, then bring Johnny to me. You can cut through all the red tape so that we can see each other, even if it's just for five minutes. Please, Lucky, please, please do this for me. Bring Johnny here.